All right, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube citizens, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, Dash, that you're in front of. <laughs> And I'm here with another throwback tunes on another Thursday, and this one is called Cold Summer by USDA. And you're probably wondering, who in the heck is USDA? So USDA is a hip hop trio, and first of all, USDA stands for United Street Dope Boys of America. So this group is from Atlanta. So we got the group founder, Young Jeezy, AKA Jeezy nowadays. And he brought the group mainstream after he left Boys in the Hood, which was under Diddy. So the original group consisted of Jeezy, Slick, Pula, and Blood Wall, but rappers 211 and Boo, Waz Boo? Boo Rosini have been added to the lineup following the release of this album, or mixtape, whichever you want to call it, that I'm reviewing right now. Now, Blood Wall and 211 have since left the group. So, yeah. Oh, and... Here's some interesting news. Boo Rosini, a.k.a. Payroll Giovanni. So for those Detroit cats, y'all know what's up. So anywho, actually the current members are Payroll Giovanni, Slick Pula, Jeezy himself, and YG Lil Reese. So that's interesting. So let's get on with this album slash mixtape. Where they call it, I forgot what they called it. But we're going to say it's an album. So anywho, this joint dropped May 22nd, 2007, so it's within those 10, well actually it's more than that, it's that 10 years rule, a little bit over 10 years. So this came out under Corporate Thug slash Dev, or ah, Corporate Thug Entertainment slash Dev Jam. So in this album debuted at number four on the Billboard 200 with approximately 95,000 copies sold in its first week release. And the album, Finished number one, not finished number one. It reached as high as number one in the top RB slash hip hop albums and number one in the top rap albums charts. So, yeah, there you go with that. Now, the producers involved in this album we got Drummer Boy, Arnaz, The Nasty One Smith, Terry T.A. Allen, Tony Ray, Sanchez Rockhead Holmes, Midnight Black, The Black Mob, Afro Gaines Jr., and Cliff Brown. And I believe, yes, that's everybody. So, this album, let me give you some background info in regards to this album. It's not much, really. So, in an interview with MTV, Jeezy explained why he chose not to release a regular studio album to showcase his crew. And Jeezy said, and I quote, It's crazy. I wanted to do it mixtape style because I wanted it to be something from the streets. It's like Trap or Die on steroids. I love that. It's a street album. Just raw. Yeah, he wasn't kidding about that one. So, there's 14 tracks on here. No skits or anything like that, but it's still 14 tracks. So, I can only give you guys a top three and not a top five. So, let's start off with the first track, which is called Focus, followed by the leading single off this album, which is called Right Girl. Next up is called Get It Up, followed by Check. And then we're going to get to two out of the three classics off of this album. The first one, I mean, not two of them. Yeah, yeah, two out of the three classics. The first one is called Corporate Thugging. Y'all should know that one. Y'all should know that one. I said Corporate Thugging. T-T-E. Cause that's the way to die. That's the way it's gonna be. That one. Yeah, that one. And next up is another one that y'all should know about. Another classic. Throw this money. Go on, shake that ass, girl. I'ma throw this money. Go on, shake that ass, girl. I'ma throw this money. Go on, shake that ass, girl. I'ma throw this money. I'ma throw this money. I'ma throw this money. Yeah, there you go. Next up is Pam, that's track number seven. Now track number eight is another classic and it's called Cricky. Followed by Live My Life. Next up is Ride Tonight, followed by What It Is. Track number 12 is called I Keep Telling Myself, followed by Respect The Shield, as in D-A. And track number 14 is Go Get A Remix. And you're probably wondering, wait a minute, Go Get A Remix, where's the original? It's in the old GZ album. So actually, I need to add some info to some of these tracks. Going back to track number nine, Live My Life. That features Scar. Track number 13, Respect the Shield features, how you pronounce this? Rocket, R-O-C-C-E-T-T, -T, and 211. And track number 14, Go Get a Remix, obviously features Art Kelly, since he was an original as well. But it also features Jadakiss and Bun B. So, let's move on to the first single off this album. Oh, Corporate Thug is the second single. But the first single is called Right Girl. Both of these singles came out 2007, by the way. So, Right Girl, came out 2007 and the term white girl 
is named after the slang term for cocaine. Throughout the song, the group talks about how much money they have obtained from selling cocaine. And of course, there was a remix for this song which features Fabulous, Rick Ross, and Lorraine. Now this song didn't make the charts. It was 16th on the US Billboard, bubbling under, as my phone went off, bubbling under Hot 100 singles. And it was 57 on the US Billboard Hot R&B slash hip hop song. And that's it. I'm, there might have been a music video for this. I don't know, I don't think so. So yeah, they go with that. Now moving on to Corporate Thug, and not much about this one with the exception of the fact that they did make one chart. And that's the Hot RB slash hip hop song chart. It finished at, or yeah, it finished at, not finished. It peaked at 109 on that chart. So there you go with that. Now let's move on to my best songs off of this album from worst to first. Live My Life is okay, but it's clearly the worst song off this album. Next up is Respect My Shield. That's another song that was okay. Then of course we got Go Get A Remix. I like the original better, slightly. And then we got Right Girl, which really, really bangs. And then next up is I Keep Telling Myself, uh, self, excuse me, followed by Check. Then is What It Is, followed by Get It Up, Focus. Ride Tonight, the fifth, fifth, ah, the fifth best song off this album is really cool. And Pam is another really cool song as well. Now, y'all notice that I did not mention any of the classics. That's because they're the three best songs off this album. So the third best song off this album is Quickie. Quickie is dope as heck, though. It's, I, I, I can't, it's, it's more like a chill banger. Like it bangs, but just be chilling. Not like you're getting hype or crunk or anything like that. Yeah, as I said, crunk. But, um, <laughs> but it still bangs, but it's still like in chill mode. So it's pretty dope. It's really, really dope, man. So Quickie, third best track off this album. Second best track off this album is Corporate Thuggin' Dog. This song is still played in the songs even to this day, dog. That joint is hype as heck, especially when you hear it in the club, man. Cause you know they got that pitch stop pitch, but tempo up. So that joint is dope right there. And then of course, Throw This Money is dope as hell. Another class is still played to this club in the, to this day, rather. And again, with that tempo up, dog, this joint is really hype, dog. Like it's really, really hype, man. So yeah, without question, throw this money, best song off this album. So let me give you guys some professional ratings. So All Music gave it three and a half out of five stars. Hip Hop DX gave it, wow, two out of five stars. Pitch Sport Media and Rap Reviews gave it four and a half out of five stars. Six Shot gave it eight out of 10, that's a new one, Six Shot. And DJBoop.net, another new one, gave it three and a half out of five stars. So what do I think about this album? Well. It got three classics, like, but none of them's my all-time favorites. And the other songs was, you know, at the very least okay. None of them was bad, like, in terms of the type of album this is. Like, this ain't the type where you listen to it for the lyricism and be like, oh, man, this is on the level now, or Jay-Z, something like that. But this is just, like, bangers, uh, straight-up bangers. So, I'm going to have to give this one a 3.75 out of 5. I recommend you download it and... You decide for yourself. I'm leaning towards you keep it because at least keep corporate thugging, throw this money, and quickie. But if you don't want to keep the whole album, then that's cool. But I still say you recommend. I recommend you keep those three classic songs. So either you keep it or you don't. But yeah, there you go with that, man. So with that out the way, y'all know who this is. This is your boy, the new Jake Gatsby, aka the new Stephen A. Smith, saying peace out, y'all, and I'll see y'all next time. Yeah.